Question 5a, g of x is equal to x squared minus 1 over x, find g dash of x, the derivative of g of x. So our function here, g of x, let's just write it down, is equal to x squared minus 1 over x. First thing I'm going to do here is before I differentiate it, I'm going to turn the uh, 1 over x into 1x to the power of negative 1. So when I have a fraction, I always want to get rid of the fraction by bringing it up and putting it to the negative power. So now I'm going to differentiate it. And to differentiate it, I bring down the power multiplied by the factor in front of the x or the coefficient of the x and reduce the power. So that becomes 2x to the power of 1. And bringing down the power here and multiplying it, so I'm multiplying minus 1 by negative 1, so that will become a plus 1x reduced to power becomes x to the minus 2. And then put it back together, so that's giving me 2x plus 1 over x squared. So always turn your answers back into fraction form without the uh, negative power. Looking now at part b, f of x is given by the following, and part 1 is saying x plus 1 is a factor of f of x find three values of x for which f of x is equal to zero. Okay, so they've given us one of the factors. First thing we need to do is find the other two factors. So to do that, it's a cubic, so there's three factors. I need to use long division would be one method. So I'm gonna divide x plus one, and I'm dividing it into two x cubed minus 21 x squared plus 40 x plus 63. So I'm using long division here. Um, x into 2x cubed becomes 2x squared. Multiply that back down, gives me 2x squared, or sorry, 2x cubed. Um, plus 2x squared. I'm multiplying across by negative 1, or changing the signs here. So 2x cubed minus 2x cubed will cancel, and minus 21x squared minus 2x squared will give me negative 23x squared. I'm then bringing down my 40x, so that's a positive 40x, and I go again. I'm now dividing x into minus 23x squared, so that'll give me minus 23x. Multiply that back down, minus 23x squared, and then one by minus 23 is minus 23x. Same thing again, change the signs, or in other words, you're multiplying across by negative one, so that now becomes a plus this time. Uh, minus 23 plus 23 will cancel, and positive 40 plus positive 23 will give me positive uh, 63x. And now I'm gonna bring down my constant, the plus 63. And final time, divide it in. X into positive 63x will go 63 times, so plus 63. Multiply that back down. 63x and 63 by 1 is plus 63. Change the signs. Multiply across by minus 1, in other words. Cancel, cancel, remainder 0. Okay, so once you've divided it in, you now have a quadratic on the top. So I now have my factor x plus 1, but I have another factor here, which is 2x squared minus 23x plus 63. Now, so I've left myself with a quadratic equation here, 2x squared minus 23x plus 63. So I'm going to use my minus b formula here for my log tables to factorize this. So x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Uh, a is my 2, B minus 23, C positive, 20, or positive 63. So X is equal to minus minus 23 plus or minus the square root of negative 23, all to be squared, uh, minus uh, 4 times A times C, all over 2 times A, which is 2 times 2. And when you do that out, you get x is equal to positive 23 plus or minus the square root of 25. So that'll give me a 5 over 4. So uh, running out of space here. So let's bring all that up here. So that means that x is equal to 23 plus 5 over 4. And x is equal to 23 minus 5 over 4. 
So x is equal to 28 over 4 and x is equal to 18 over 4. So x is equal to 7 and x is equal to uh, 9 over 2, which is 4.5. So there's two values for x, 7 and 4.5. Now let's come back to our original factor here. Remember we had a factor which was x plus 1. So x plus 1 was our factor. I want to turn that into its root. So this is my factor. Changing that to a root, uh, I let it equal to 0. And that gives me x is equal to minus 1 as my root. So my third root is negative 1 here. The order doesn't matter. Minus 1, 4.5, 7. Part 2. Find the range of values of x for which f of x, f dash of x is negative. So this is the derivative is negative. So my derivative from the previous part of the question was f dash of x is equal to 6x squared minus 42x uh, plus 40. And I'm looking for less than zero. Now, I haven't factorized the derivative in the previous part. So I need to factorize this now. Uh, once again, I'm going to my minus b formula. So x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac um, all over 2a. a is 6, b minus 42, c 40. So x is equal to minus minus 42 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared minus 4 times a times b. Uh, sorry. That's wrong there. My b in the first bracket here should be minus 42. Uh, minus 4 times a times c. All over 2 times my a, which is 2 sixes. And when I evaluate that, I'm getting x is equal to 5.86 and x is equal to 1.14. So if I sketch that out on my coordinate graph here for a second, uh, so this is my y-axis and my x-axis and I plot the two points here uh, let's just it's again it's only a sketch so I have 1.14 and I have 5.86 it's a positive quadratic so it looks something like that and the question is looking for um, where it's negative so that's below the x-axis so I'm basically looking for this region in here I'm looking for everything here. So it's between, x has to be between positive 1.14 and positive 5.86. So therefore, my final answer here is um, x is between um, 5.86 and 1.14. If you're ever doubtful with your two solutions, just sub them back into your quadratic equation and see for yourself that they are less than zero.